What's up guys? Quick little beer review today. We have Gamera Hazy Double IPA collaboration between Tortugo Brewing in Inglewood and Vernon Daylight in Lomita. So Tortugo, great stuff. Uh, just about a year old out there. And then Vernon Daylight, um, probably about six months old. Haven't had anything from them, so I'm really excited to try this beer out. Love the artwork, very fun there. Um, so let's crack this can open, see what's up. And just a quick word from our sponsor, this beer review is brought to you by The Bottle Shop in Silmar. Really great beer, really great stop to get a bunch of awesome local, regional, national beer. They bring in some stuff that you really don't see at your local beer store. So check them out in Silmar. So let's uh, pour this here. The aromas coming out of the glass right now is extremely nice. Um, so this beer is hopped with Galaxy, Nelson, and Citra. Uh, so if you know those hops at all, you know, very, very good, very aromatic. And yeah, a lot of tropical fruit flavors coming right out of the glass. Orange peel, a little bit of pineapple. Um, yeah, and it's got like a nice fluffiness to it too, the head. Uh, it's kind of sticking there right at the top. It's got a great looking haze. Uh, when it was pouring, I wasn't sure like how kind of thick and murky it was gonna be. It was looking a little bit thin, but um, actually the appearance on this looks like a very nice hazy IPA. So um, without further ado, let's give it a whirl. Crow bar up. That's really nice. Um, right off the bat, I was getting alcohol, um, you know, kind of that like slightly sweet, uh, almost like overly fermented, uh, like overly ripe orange. Um, but then it really kind of mellows out. You get nice melon components. So, um, you know, slightly sweet, but also on the subtle side. Mm. Lemon for sure. Yeah, it's got a really nice sweetness to the back end on it that reminds me almost like kind of like a citrus dessert of some kind, almost like uh, almost like frosting, like oh, like a citrus flavored frosting. Um, and I know what you're thinking, that kind of sounds over the top sweetness, uh, but no, I'm thinking a really thin layer, like not over the top, not very like thick and grainy and sugary. Um, but yeah, it's got kind of like kind of a creamy citrus component that I really like to it. The mouth feels on point. Um, it's actually a lot thinner than I thought it was just from the appearance. Um, but I, I really like that in this case. It makes it a very approachable beer. Um, I'm taking like really nice sized sips of it, continuing to come back for more. It's really coating the entire inside of my mouth and then washing right away and then leaving it um, really juicy, like salivating. My tongue is like really watery. Mm, really nice beer. So this is sitting at 8%, kind of right on that like single IPA to double IPA line. Um, so you're not going too big uh, in terms of that double IPA ABV range. And yeah, I just, I just wanna keep diving into this glass. This is really, really well done. Um, if you like, you know, hazy IPAs that aren't too creamy, murky, thick, um, but have a really nice citrus fruit component. So this doesn't have as much of your kind of like sticky sweet um, citrus fruit, the, the pineapple, the, uh, the mango guava type of stuff. It's a lot more citrus forward, um, which brings a little bit of that like citrus bitterness to it. I'm not saying that it's West Coast IPA bitterness, but it has like a slight kind of bitterness to the citrus that I think really um, balances the sweet component to it very well. So really well done. Hazy double IPA from Tortugo Brewing and Burning Daylight. Gamera, check this baby out. That's your review.